If you're a heat nursing technician or even a salesperson, how do you know when you're dealing with a true sales pro and why does it matter? This is a fantastic question. I'm Scott Silver Bell, coming to you live from Sacramento, California. A perfect day to talk about sales and business and a fantastic day to talk about you. Coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets. Okay, I got to tell you a story. So uh, I'm currently remodeling part of my house. And with that being said, I'm putting together a guest bedroom. And so uh, I've had this this thing that I'm doing where I'm like, hey, I only want to spend X amount of dollars on the budget. And so tonight I go to the Macy's here in Sacramento downtown and they're having a crazy sale. So I'm like, hey, it fits within the budget. Let's go have a conversation. So I've bought a bed frame. I've bought a bed and I was like, I'm going to get sheets. I'm going to get a down comforter and I'm going to get some pillowcases. So I'm walking through the store and this lady, Sharon, Sharon, downtown Macy's Sacramento, you're freaking awesome comes over and says, hey, what can I what can I help you with? And I'm like, look, here's what I'm doing. I have a spare guest bedroom. I bought that bed. I bought that bed frame. I want to match my sheets and my comforter. And she goes, okay, I got you. I said, listen, I'm a dude. To me, like I point and I buy stuff. I need your help. I need your touch. I need your eye. This isn't, this isn't my wheelhouse. It's not my specialty. She goes, okay, I got you. She says, what are you trying to achieve? And I said, hey, I've got X budget, and I'm trying to tell the story that I bought everything for the best, best guest bedroom on super clearance and super sell, but I want really good quality stuff. She goes, cool. And so she says, let's take a look at colors. And I said, you pick. And she says, you're going to let me pick? And I go, absolutely, you pick. You pick. And she says, okay. So we go and we find a, uh, a I have a cover with me. She's like, that's the wrong color. Don't get that one. It's going to stain. It's going to have a whole bunch of issues. I'm like, thank you so much for letting me know. And then... We go and I say, hey, here's what I'm trying to achieve. She goes, yeah, I got you. I know. We're going to look at this one. So we look at this dark gray, dark charcoal cover. And she's like, this is the one that I would choose. It was me based upon the color of bed that you got. I was like, done. Let's put it in the bag. She goes, now you need sheets. And she goes, what level of sheets do you want to buy? And I said, well, if it was me, I would buy the ones that are all the way up here. I know they're on sale, but it's for a guest bedroom that people hardly ever sleep in. We'll take these ones. She goes, okay. We walk over. And she goes, those ones right there. I go, cool, put it in the bag. She goes, you know what you need now? Uh, the comforters, the down comforters are on a crazy sell right now. Like if it's within the budget, let's go take a look. So we go over and like crazy sale, like ridiculous. We we look at the the, the comforters or the, <laughs> the downfield comforters. And like by the end of the day, everything's done. So the reason I tell you this is a good consultant a good salesperson, a good advisor is going to have a certain energy and confidence about them. So Sharon, downtown Macy's, Doco, D-O-C-O, -O, uh, super awesome, super awesome. And she had like the right amount of, of energy. And this right here is why you should join my email publication. I'll give you the goods, not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel. So there is a couple things about this. One, you got to know what you're talking about. Two, you got to have service in your heart. So Service in your heart means like you want the best for the person that you're working with. You're not just trying to sell them something, right? There's going to be a point where you meet with a client and they're like, hey, I want this and I'm willing to spend the money. And you're looking at it, you're like, at the end of the day, that's the wrong thing for you. And I'm going to tell you seven reasons why I would actually take this one. And that person's going to go, thanks for being a true pro. You let me know. Awesome. There is an energy. There's a woo-woo part of the sales process. Now, woo-woo, if you don't know what it is, is kind of like, um, kind of like, like you may refer to it as like hippie-ish or looking and, and saying like, hey, this isn't like real scientific, but there is a science to it. Like you have a good energy when somebody gives you good advice. You have a good energy when somebody says, hey, this is the right thing for you to do. You also start picking up bonus points as a salesperson, as a consultant, or as an advisor when you say, that's not going to help you. And I'll tell you seven or eight reasons. So I pointed and said, hey, what about this? And she goes, don't even think about it, right? She didn't say it that way, but I mean, that's what it was. That was, it wasn't a bad thing, okay? But it was, I'm not doing it that way. I'm not doing it that way. So if you are going to be the best in sales, you're going to be the best at what you do, you have to have service in your heart and say, I want to do the right thing for you. Now, at some point, somebody may go, hey, I don't care what you say. This one's not good enough for me. I want this one. Say, hey, great, let's do it. At least I gave you the advice. At least I shared with you the reason why I think that this one right here would be better for you. But by all means, if you want to buy up, go ahead. You got to have service in your heart, though. It's got to be, it's got to come from here. 
You got to make sure that you're doing the right thing for the people that you serve and the people that you meet with. You will sell way more. It's the right, like, don't make anything up. You don't have to. And if you ever go to a sales training where people are like, you have to sell the highest end, the per, the, the thing that's all the way up here, I'm going to, I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you in on a super secret, not so secret. There's probably a lot of stuff wrong with their sales process and you don't have to do that. If somebody comes to you and says, you have to sell all the way up here, like, Start asking some really good questions and get a little bit of skepticism in your, <clears throat> right here, in your head. Get a little bit of skepticism in your head. There's nothing wrong with selling something, somebody, something that they need, but don't ever make anything up. You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three. Find the subscribe button, click on it, and every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. Two, hit follow. Three, share this video with a friend. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.